want to make something really, really clear before I start this video. This is a video that I want to do to help raise awareness in our country. I want to do it to help someone. This is 100% not a video to get ratings. I am absolutely uninterested on whether or not this video gets me a Facebook like a Twitter follower or if you listen to my radio show. I am not interested in that at all. This is purely because I want to talk about something that is really, really important. My name is Sharon. I work on a radio show. I do a bit of TV stuff. I'm a wife. I'm a daughter. I'm a sister. I'm an auntie. I'm a dog owner to an adorable puppy. And I have, like, beautiful, amazing friends. And I'm also a 29-year-old woman that has battled with anxiety and depression for most of my life. I can remember my first bout with anxiety and depression where I was 12 years old. And it has been really really hard. Um, today I was on Facebook and I saw an article come up and you may have seen it on the news or something already that the suicide rates in New Zealand have increased so it's more than one person a day in New Zealand commit suicide. That's way too many people, that's way too many people that don't realise that we can help them, that they can get better, that there is help out there and that it's not gonna be that way forever. And that's why I wanted to share my story and hope that maybe, even if it just helps one person change their mind, that's totally enough for me. So I've had totally those days where the black dog is just relentless, where I've, brushing my teeth is the hardest thing in the world, where I've sat in the car park or the toilets at work bawling my eyes out, having a full noise panic attack, paralysed and I can't get out of my car. I've had days where I just feel like well, I should just quit my job, that I'm not good at anything, that the world would be a better place if I wasn't here. And those thoughts are so poisonous in your brain because they just kind of, once they start, they just kind of snowball. And the thing is, is that if you have those thoughts, these thoughts aren't true. These are, it's almost like your brain playing a trick on you because of the depression and because of what's going on in your brain. And so I just urge you that if you are feeling that way, if you are feeling like you think the world would be a better place if you weren't here, that is not true. It is 100% not true. There are people all around you right now that love you. There are people all around you right now that want to help you. And you can beat this. Don't let depression or whatever's going on in your brain, when you can beat this. You just have to ask for help. And help is everywhere. It could be the person at work you get on well with. It could be your best friend at school. It could be your mum, your dad, your auntie, anyone that you trust. And you could even just go onto an amazing website like the one that John Kerwin started and go and have a look and see who you can talk to. Or go to mentalhealth.org.nz. They've got a whole page of a variety of different people that can help you. And these people are like the army that forms around you to take on the battle and beat this thing in your brain. Because the thing is, when you're at that point, you really believe that this world would be a better place without you. And as I said before, that's, that's not true. I watch a family that are more than 10 years on from something like this and they still have to deal with it every day. You think that it's just gonna, they're gonna be happier without you, well they're not. They're gonna have to carry around that burden for the rest of their life wondering if there's something they could have done differently to help you. I have a friend who I had a missed call from who two days later passed away and for the rest of my life I'm gonna wonder if I had not missed that phone call, would that still have happened? You, it's, it's not true, okay? There are people around you that love you, so I just beg you, these numbers in New Zealand are too high and you can beat it and it will get better. So go to mentalhealth.org.nz, look at that list, talk to someone around you and get help because as I've already said multiple times in this, I promise you, I'm living proof, it will get better and you can get through it. So go and win the war, don't give in.